3.3. Welcome to section 3.3, Creating a Mini Library. We will learn about customizing the appearance of your course and making it easy to find the materials needed. So we're going to solve the problem of forcing students to waste time hunting for materials. So we're going to create a mini library within the course. So let's go to Site Administration and let's click on Courses. Remember these are global and let's click on Course Default Settings. We have an eight topic course. Now what we want is to make sure that we're in a topics format and that we have 10 sections. 10 because we have an eight week course and we want to have at least one of those topics devoted to our materials. So now that we've created the custom global setting, let's go back to our course and let's go to success in the workplace. Now we've added additional topics, so even though this is an eight topic course, we have an extra one topic and that is library. So let's look at the library and let's look at book. So notice we can edit it and we can add more books in the library. We can add other things and resources. And then once we have the book, we can actually edit the settings and we can upload more. So let's look at, at edit settings and let's look at the book administration and generate and import a chapter. So once we import a chapter, we can look at HTML files, we can upload zip files in HTML, and, and by doing so we combine them all together and we have an entire book. So it's extremely useful and a good way to make sure that all of your materials are together and your students are, can easily find them. In the next section we will learn how to customize assessments, namely quizzes.